In this third and final example, what we're going to be looking at is these are five treats, height, the heights of five treats. And I want to say which average would be most appropriate for this. So we're going to look at the mean, median and mode. Okay. Okay, so first of all the mean. So we're going to add them all together. 4.9 plus 3.85 plus 4 plus 5.2 plus 3.85. And I'm going to divide that by 5. So that's 4.36. So that's our mean. Then the median, putting them in order, we have 3.85, 3.85, 4, 4.9, and 5.2. So, crossing them off on both ends, the median is 4. And then the mode, well, the most common number, there's th two 3.85s. Okay, so that would be our mode. And really, it's now determining which would be the best and most, most representative average here. Now, let's start off with talking about the mode. The mode is 3.85 metres. Um, however, there, out of our five, only two okay, uh, had repeated numbers. So when we're dealing with the fact that these are the heights of trees, we've measured this to the nearest centimetre. And so, what we found here is that really, you're working with continuous data, so you could be more accurate. So the likelihood of finding two trees that were exactly the same height would be very slim. It's also the fact that 3.85 is the smallest number for the trees. If you were to say that, on average, uh, the height of the trees was actually the smallest of them, then it wouldn't seem right. Okay, so this, in this case, it's just too small. Then we've got the median. Now, the median is 4 metres. And what we have here is that, although that seems to be alright, okay, um, there are problems in the sense that it does seem a little small to be the average for these five numbers. 3.85, 3.85 and 4, they're all quite close together. And then you've got two taller trees, 4.9 and 5.2. It doesn't seem quite to be the average. It's alright, but it's not particularly strong. Really, the mean at 4.36, because we're working with continuous data, the mean is much more appropriate as a measure of average. And 4.36 feels to be best as a middling number between these five. So, of these three examples, you've seen that there are... Difference, significant differences in how you can explain uh, which is the best average, depending upon the situation. And you need to be ready for this type of question.